Yeah, welcome back to Career Build Series 2023. This is episode number four. And so uh, in this episode, we're going to be starting to actually work on the systems a little bit more. Um, you know, did a bunch of decoration, kind of got it up to scratch where I want it look, looks wise. But part of this is, you know, it seems like it's just decoration, but it's also making sure we can still have good buoyancy and we're not tipping too much when we have the superstructure on there. Added a mast. Uh, the mast is going to get a little bit of love right now first. Um, mast is, you know, the mast was for a much larger tugboat, so I think I'm going to start to move some things in. It's seemingly a little bit wide for me, and so I want to kind of get that fixed. So let's go ahead and we'll start that. So go ahead and grab some of these parts here. And I'm going to cut these, and I'm trying to see how far in I want them. One... Maybe two. If I see if I go two, we run into issues with this. Could even make it a little asymmetrical, but um, let's try one to start with. So just kind of moving this, these over one. And let's see where I'm at here. I have to. Um, Let's paste that, and then I have to move this over one, so this needs to go in two as well. Cut that, move that in one. All right, and so that's now moved in a little bit, so that will be a little bit um, thinner that way. And I need to kind of cut down the height just a little bit, so I'll do that as well. Can't really cut that down height wise. Uh, I might leave the height. No, you know what? I'll I'll do this. Grab these antennas. All right. So I need to kind of play with this a little bit. Cut that antenna. Move that down. One, two. Okay. We will cut this antenna. Move that down. One, two. And so all these lights have a function. They have a rhyme and a reason for different states, like if you're damaged, if you're towing something. So all these things are of actual importance. So, so I already have a system to run these. So let's uh, cut that uh, one, two. I'll start merging back up. And then this one here needs to be a different block to be able to hold. That's where our radar is going to go. And then it needs to be a cross corner like that. All right, and then this should cut the height down a little bit. That'll be nice. This will also allow me, if I want to put a pusher on the front of the ship, I can do that without having issues. Getting a little tall, so. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and spawn that, see how it looks. There, that's a little bit more proportional. A little bit thinner, uh, a little less tall. That makes sense with this being a smaller ship than the other one, than the um, Dama 2111 by a considerable amount. So. I might move that arm up a little bit. Uh, I think I will. So I really want to get into the system, so I don't want to kind of hang around and do this too much. Uh, let's see. Delete you. You will be this cross piece corner there. All right, and then this is going to now just be a T piece. All right. Cut that. There we go. All right, so that will allow us to get up and down the ladder. So it makes it a little less asymmetrical. Makes it a little more asymmetrical. Let's see how I like it. I don't. <laughs> I don't like how that looks different now. I can move this one up a little bit, maybe. And probably even take some more height out of it, maybe. Yeah, if I move this up, I can take some more height out, which I think I will do. So what is it? Uh, would he shrink it by two, maybe? Two, I think. Yeah, it looks like two. So that needs an Omni now. Where's an Omni? Right there. Omni. 
All right, so that goes there. Let's shrink this down even more size-wise. All right, let's cut that. Oh, I need to take my, my radar is going to go with me there. Actually, the whole point of moving that up was so I didn't have to duck. But let's see how I like that. That looks better. That looks pr more proportional. I think I should move this center sec. I can't move that center section up because of the antennas. All right. I won't screw with this too much. Um, this is kind of looking the way I want it to. So that's not bad. Kind of digging on that. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. So let's uh, not screw with that too much. Let's get the engines running here. So that's looking good. Um, yeah, I can always play with that later. All right, so let's continue to work on the engines here. So I need some manifold piece. We'll do the pat yellow. Make sure symmetry's on. Let's go ahead and... Go mod for modular. Need manifold pieces all around to be able to join the cylinders here. So And I'll probably grab a bunch of the systems out of the Damon 2111 to make that work. So all of our banks are connected now. Um, fuel, how am I doing fuel? That's a question. So I think a centralized fuel tank, maybe a custom centralized fuel tank, I'm thinking is probably going to be best. Um, see, I don't need, these are air intakes, so I do need those. Those are air intakes. I'm going to bring up the diagram a little here if I can find it. Where is he? Where are you at here? I thought I downloaded it. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Just on a different monitor. Here is the diagram. And so often you put the water on the, uh, the fuel on the lowest um, area. But if you notice here, it's in these bunkers here. Um, often on a larger ship, you can put it under the deck. And that's actually really good. It keeps the center of gravity super low. Um, so we have fuel oil here. So we have... Um, 7.1 meters cubed, which is 7,100 liters. So it's looking like 14.2. So let's look up a spec sheet, see if that's correct. Uh, where are we at here? Fuel oil, 14.2. Yep, so about 14,200 liters. So let's see if we can run with that. That sounds about good to me. Um, and so they run, so, so they have their sleeping quarters up here. Let's do this. If I cut in here, okay, good. So I could put a wall in here, and that could be sleeping quarters there. Let's do that. And then I can have more space for engine room here. So that's kind of living quarters in here. Under, see, the problem is it's under the main deck here. I need to find a way to get down there. So I could do sort of symmetry here. So I'm trying to solve some problems right off the bat here. So let's do some things to try to figure this out here. All right, um, let's see. How to do, how to do. I could change where the fuel is and just put it in a centralized set of tanks. Let me check on tanks here. Let's try something. Let's take a uh, largest fuel tanks here. See, I need two blocks to be able to walk around the engines. So let's try something here. I forget what the capacity of this is. Let's spawn it. Let's check it. You know, this being a smaller vehicle, it doesn't bother me to have some of these things more manual. So that's 187.5 liters. Just bring up a calculator really quick here. 187. 
All right, now we don't do that. 14, 200 divided by 187. How many of these will we need? 75. <laughs> That's not happening. All right, um, let's see. So this doesn't need the same capacity as the other one. Again, this is not a copy of that. Um, you know, so I don't really need it to be um, identical in any way. Um, so let's see. I think I'm going to do standard tanks. I was going to make, um, problem is these look better than the, than if I made a custom. So let's stick that there. Problem is I lose the ability to walk in, in the middle. All right, and so I'm also checking center of gravity on this. I'll also see what custom tanks will hold for me. All right, so that's six, six nine six, six nine, six times four. So we're talking uh, 2,700 liters. So we're light on fuel comparatively, but again, we're probably not going to be burning a ton of fuel in this. So, so I don't really, I'm kind of, do I need to get in next to my engines? I can jump on top of them. I can get behind them. That's kind of nice. Um, check center of gravity wise where we're at here. All right, center of gravity, I would like to get towards the front a little bit. So let's do this. Let's cut those out. Let's determine our living quarters. So, again, this doesn't need to be identical to the real, This, you know, again, this is not a replica. So it doesn't have to be identical at all to the other one. Um, but if we look here at the diagram, you see we have a, we have toilet and galley. We're not getting all that space. This is shorter by nine feet than the real one. And we have a couple beds here. I'm going to do just a hatch and a ladder. Put a small head, fuel oil. Okay, so let's kind of start just kind of playing around, seeing what I can get in there. All right, so first thing I want to do is the beds. I'll get a couple beds in here. Symmetry. All right, so I'm going to set them with, like, what are we talking? We need, a, like, a two-gap in between. I'm going to grab them, cut them. And then can they go there without being a huge pain? Nice. So that cut barely cuts in like that, so that's pretty good. And then what's this? I need to be able to get down here, so we'll just do a hatch. It doesn't really matter. Can't go one left on this here. Uh, let's try moving them one to the left here. We lose a little bit of uh, hull shaping, but not terrible. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's go like that. That's about where I want it there. Can't really do bunk beds, I don't think. We could try bunk beds. Put a more cent. I think that's what I'm gonna do. More centralized with a bunk bed in there. So let's go bed. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a color for this. Uh, brown. You know, I can color the sheets and everything later. All right, and then how far? Uh, how much higher does the next? Sit? So this. Let's try going up one. Put a little bit of storage there, and then I can't do double stack there. It's going to be, so like, see how far that needs to be. So that's as high as I can go. Can I get another one under it? Not even if, so I would have to put it in the floor, and it would work. So let's try that. Not a fan of this. 
Not a fan of this right now. What I could do is this. Let's do this. Let's grab this bed here. Get as close to the ceiling as it can, which it is. Get as close to the wall as it can get. It's probably about there. Can't go down any kind of nope right there. Okay. That's probably where my beds are gonna go. And then I can put drawers and whatnot under there. We can walk in and out of here. Um then I can put a fuel oil bunker up against the wall here. Probably leave one space just for the engine there. Okay. So I'm thinking custom tank here. And then put custom tank of fuel. Yeah. Let's see what I can get for a custom fuel tank here. Um, how much capacity. I think how to how to organize this here. So this is gonna have to go like that. Probably even move the bed closer. Um, what I could do is so they have these uh, like bedrooms where you have one entry door. And then you would have a bathroom, then another entry door. And so I might do that with the with this where with the lab in there. I don't know. Let's see uh, what I can do. See, I, yeah, I need my fuel up front, though, just for ball oh, ballast reasons. Let's play with it. Let's get a, a quantity of fuel in here and see what I'm looking with, what I'm working with. Uh, doing these half blocks allows me to hold more fuel. And as I add fuel, I can start deleting ballast out some of that those weight blocks because that's going to be heavy. So you can't have too much of it in there. All right, and so I think we're starting to get, oh, what did I just do? Deleted a hole in the floor for no reason. There we go. All right, and then I will make this the remainder of these fuel tanks here. And let's, I'm curious what capacities I can get on this are going to be. Okay. So we have diesel spawner here. All right, and then I need a meter, which I'll just stick right here so that I can easily read it. And this will probably be sitting pretty low in the water because we just added a bunch of mass on there without removing weight blocks. So you can see the front's swamping. That's what I expect, but we can add, we can uh, alter some weight blocks. All right, where's my meter? My meter is there. That's uh so we have about five thousand liters. So that's that's pretty good. So that's uh that's gonna be our fuel there. That also brings it forward, which I'm happy with. Alright, good. So that's uh making progress. Then let's cut a hole here. Okay.
Trying to see where I'm at bid-wise here. Can I move this back one and then move it forward to the left of another spot? No, so it doesn't matter if I move it forward. I just can't go there, so. Okay. So two haul is all I need to get through. All right, so I think I'm starting to figure out what I want to do here. That's going to interact with the bed. Crap, that interacts with the bed there. Um, Let's see what I can get for a sliding door in here. Open an engine room door here. Just favor one side or the other. All right. All right. So uh, I know I said I'm going to get mostly into uh, actually building the engines, but I need to lay this out in order to get this going. So that's kind of kind of why it's it's I'm doing what I'm doing here. All right. So I, I'm kind of figuring out where I'm kind of have this figured out what I need to do. So. And again, so remember, we started this with all of those blocks, uh, weight blocks. And so that really helps us out because I can always delete those out as necessary. And so those are giving me ballast. So as I add engines, as I add fuel, those can be deleted out. And so that sets me up for being okay when we get to that step. Clown symmetry. Bane of my existence symmetry. All right, it's good. So, you know, we might be missing a galley or whatever, but um, I can put a little sink up here, a um, little portable toilet somewhere. Maybe even in the engine room. All right, good. So that's there. Then I need to cut a hole here. So let's cut there. All right. And then I need a hatch. Can I do it here without causing problems? Let's see. So again, remember I was talking about I want that deck at least two blocks ahead um, of the... I want the deck two blocks above the water line, and that's because, as you can see, I'm starting to get that water effect um, as I get below. There we go. So should have a block to step on up here. Do I not? Should be able to walk up on this. Um, there we go. I can jump up there and get up there. That's fine. As long as I can get up, we're in good shape. All right, so that's good. Uh, I have an access hatch there to get down below. I have a couple beds. Nice. I'll probably rotate these beds because they're rotated um, in the real one. They rotate towards the towards there. So where do I want to pivot here? Probably I could pivot it here. Yeah, let's pivot it here.
All right, and I'm just going to grab a throttle for now. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to drag this down to a very small number, like a three percent. And I want to can't I want to angle those beds like they are in the real one. Oh, you actually have to connect it, huh? Didn't connect it. Just look at the time. I want to get rid moving on this engine as well. Oh, come on, symmetry, man. I haven't had symmetry on for that. Very frustrating. Um... Oh, come on. Delete stuff I don't want to. Ah, these need to be uh, cut. All right, and so those will be angled a little bit, add a little bit of interest. Put a little bit of like uh, under bed storage in there too. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to come back off a little bit. I don't want them pressing in there too hard. That will cause phantom forces. Uh, 0.18. So that's looking good. So 0.18, that gives us a little bit more space in here. I like that. I can also put like a little fake um, storage under there. Should be able to do that. All right. Can I get in and out of this bed? Yeah. Nice. All right, good. So come in the engine room. Nice. So this is really starting to shape up nicely. Don't really have a head, don't really have a galley, but whatever, man. You know, I just, I don't have the space to really do it. Yeah. But uh, I'm liking this. This is coming along nicely. Nice little livable area in here. All right. So let's try to add some, a little bit of, I know I'm back in the decorating phase here, but... Let's get, uh, let's try to get these engines up and running. So let's at least start putting some parts in these engines. Okay, so air is there. So I want an impeller pump. Turbo, it's, you know, supercharger, but uh, let's see what we have here. That is air, fluid in, torque, fluid out. So this is just needs to be that. Okay, and then start getting this hooked up. At least uh, that way when I, you know, everything takes longer than I think it's going to take, but. This will uh, get us moving in the right direction for this. Fluid ends, air right there. A little bit of pipe um, snaking around is kind of adds a little bit of interesting element to it as well. And let's... 
Do a little bit of color in here. Um, engine room is going to be kind of a lot drabber than the rest of the. Yep. And somebody I reviewed one of their builds and they did a two tone, um, like more of the industrial color low, and then, um, you know, they're. Kind of their more living color higher, which I liked. That's too bucket. I always worried about using the bucket, but we'll do it anyway. All right, and so this gray, I'm going to continue around here. All right, so this is kind of going to be a two tone dealio here. There we go, so that's kind of looking good. Um, let's see, I want this. Do that. Try to go like that, maybe. Okay, so that's kind of shaping up there pretty nicely. Color is looking good. Let's do some bed sheets here. There we go. Up oh, this didn't color out. There we go. Bed sheets are in there. All right. All right, nice. And so that's kind of dressing up that. Engine's starting to come together. So we have air in there. We need fuel. So we have two bunkers here for fuel. And so I'm going to switch this out to a manifold T piece. Fuel manifold is going to go there. Kind of want to go one lower though. Um, here. So I, um, I can't do that one anyways. I'm already like I can't already put something on this belt drive here, so I don't want to completely knock this out. So we'll go like that. Fluid port here. Okay. Give me the right block. Wowza. Annoying. Symmetry. Oh, symmetry's not on. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's so bad when you forget symmetry all the time. It's just just drags the building process out like crazy. It really does. It just drags it out. All right, so that's nice. That's looking good. Let's get this painted here. All right, so we have uh, fuel air. Um, and the exhaust is going to be faked. So I might cut these in anyway, even though they're not going to do anything. Uh, let's not fake the exhaust for right now. Let's try doing real exhaust, and if it causes me a problem, I will fake it. Um, you know, kind of assuming that it's going to be a pain. Uh, let's see if it actually is. If it is, we can always fake it. Um, you know, delete the exhaust essentially. I think that's the one that doesn't want to be double sided. It is. So that will get a cat. Uh, it's just cat should be flipped over. Starts on the right on the um, the exhaust in there. 
Okay. So there's that exhaust there, and then Mostly I'm putting these on because I like them. All right, there's the exhaust. Wish you could double color that block, but whatever. All right, so we have the constituent elements to start mostly. Let's go, we need to start putting belt drives on, so we need starter. Um, should probably be able to get the starter with one starter, uh, hopefully. Cooling, I'm gonna do raw water cooling, I think. I might put a where are we at here? We have weight blocks there. We need to take some weight blocks out anyway, uh, probably in the stern. Anyway, so I might put a, let's see. God. Struggling to find the part. Where the hell is it? Here it is, heat sink, fluid heat sink. So the problem is this is sitting at the bottom. See, I now I have some headspace. I can actually move this up a little bit, so that's fine. We put a couple heat sinks in here. That's realistic to kind of what they would really have is heat sinks, external heat sinks. Uh, I'm trying to see what side the piping is on. So I kind of want it inside there. Let's cut here. Try to get the heat sink there. And as long as we still have a two wide center section, which we have a three, we can still walk through there, no problem. All right, good. So let's see. Um, give me the paint, come on, man. All right, good, so let's see, which side's this? I don't think it matters. That's B and A, so if it's B and A, it doesn't matter which side it is. Okay, why are these? Okay, they're not merged is why. Okay, merge these up so I can see them. There we go, okay, so that's good. Let's paint these. All right, so they're just B and A, it doesn't really matter. So let's do pump. Do these engine driven pumps, they're not the best, but um, there are better ways to do it, but I'm kind of just gonna do them anyway. That's fluid out, fluid in here. I wonder if I cut that there, I don't know. This is probably gonna give me flow rate problems, but I can try to fix it later. There's a really high chance this gives me flow rate issue problem. Why is, oh, the door is off center, is it? Yeah, the door has to be off center. That's why I'm like, all right, so that's already screwing this up because this side has to, can't be the same. Um, might just put a small belt drive on there then. These are pretty terrible anyway, so. 
shrink my engines up a little bit, make give me some more space in here. So thought it'd be interesting, but uh, it's just gonna cause me problems. So starter, probably just need the one. Alternators, I want two. I'll just do it with pumps. They're just gonna be a lot easier to do. Electric pumps. I'm going to play around with these a little bit here. Okay, I don't want to go there. And so I'm just playing with my heat sinks here. Deleted something I didn't want to. All right, so there's the heat sinks back on. And then now they're going to show up here. And I should be able to plumb these out up through there. Yep, okay, so I should be able to plumb these out. So let's see. There, and then I want a cooling manifold. These are not going to be running at very high RPS, so they're not going to need a ton of cooling, most likely. So, Okay, and then... What do I have space wise here? Um, see, this is an issue here, is I can almost make this work for me. I'm like one block short of where I need to be because um, of this. So, cutting the, so joining the bottom banks there is an issue. Um, All right, so let's try something here. Um, I need to connect these bottom banks. I need to get rid of this front one here. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and we will do manifold piece right here. Okay, and then we'll do a cooling manifold like so. I'll plumb this like this. Oh, come on. Get out of there, dude. I, You know, I have to check the flow rates. We need good flow rates for this to work properly. Yeah, just cut those bottom ones out like that. All right, and so that's going to go there. I nope, can't cut that one. I forgot I can't cut that one. And like the other side, I'm using decorative like block just to kind of block it out so I can do Square it out like that. The weight block there. Oh. 
All right, so that is in a loop to cool. Why can't I get this color when I grab this? This is annoying. Go. All right, that's good there. Oh, that's not the right color for the wall. All right, good. So that kind of fits that in nicely. Hopefully that's going to be, you know, these won't run at high RPS, so hopefully that should cool it all right. I think we'll call this black here. Actually, I usually don't need to gear that. I'm going to try to not gear it to start with. All right, so that is now set up. That should be cooling in there. Exhaust is in there. Um, supercharging. We have fuel. We have air. All cooked up. So hopefully we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and get out of this base and move. I'm, I don't want to, you know what, I don't want to take too many microcontrollers uh, from other things. And the reason is, I, you know, I want you guys to be able to see how I do this. Um, again, you know, starting over, this is good to do. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. So I have a microcontroller called blank that I use. So that's going to be why when I type in blank, you won't have one. Um, don't want or need symmetry because I'm going to make one for each engine and then I'm going to copy it. So we'll do as a pod engine. Okay. Let's do width, length, do max size for now. See, did I delete a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to? Just one thing, just the mast. All right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and let's see what's up with this. So. Trying to think of the best way to control this. So let's do the engine stuff first. So we want to do composite input. That's going to be engine composite. We want to do um, number. Let's do composite input helm. Okay. I don't think we have any other composite inputs necessarily. Um, okay, so that's going to be the majority of that. Then I need number output air. Number output fuel. On off out boolean on out boolean. Output um, starter. Okay, what else do I need? Number output clutch. Oh, I just screwed that up. What's this? Yep, that's right. On off output starter. Number output clutch. All right. So it has fuel, air, clutch, starter. I need alternator. Alternator, number output. All right, so I need an on off output reverse gear. That's an output. What just happened? Clutch. Oh, I just did something I don't want to do. Uh, clutch, what did I screw up here? 
need the reverse gear anyway. I, did, I forget what I screwed up though. I have air, fuel, clutch. I don't know. So I screwed something up, but I'll fix it. All right. So what one thing I've been doing lately is um, I do a property text. And I put it right here and I put it right where everything spawns and I call it spawn. That just makes it so I know where they are and it's easy to find. Them. Then I move down from there so that they spawn in a known location. All right, so we have engine, engine can stay over there, helms here. All right, so let's build this from scratch. Um, all right, so from the helm, this is gonna be the port engine. So what I need to read is I need to read two numbers. Need to read one. Um, I need to read one and two essentially. So one is AD, two is gonna be my WS that's going to control my thrust of my engine, and so this will re this will go from negative one to one. Yep, this will go from negative one to one. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Um, we'll still read this, but what I'll do is I'm going to go to an up down counter here, and. If this is one, I will increase. This is negative one. I will decrease. All right, and that's going to control my thrust. So I need to set an idle. My idle is going to be four RP. Oh, nope. Point zero zero one is my increment. How fast I move it. Uh, reset value is going to be 4. 4 is my idle of 4 RPS. A minimum is going to be 4 RPS. Maximum will say is 20 RPS. All right, so that's set up. And so that's going to, so then we need to configure the helm. So the helm is going to be reconfigured here so that um, WS is going to be um, reset 100%. That's going to instantly go to 1 or negative 1. Same for up down, that's going to be reset 100%. All right. And so now when I when I press W, it's going to go to 1 and then it's going to increase my um my thrust. All right, good. And then at some point I'll put a zero in there so I can just zero the thrust and kill it. So now we have that. So next we need a PID. And off the top of my head, I kind of know some numbers that are close that will work. So put that in there. Next I need to read RPS which I could have done on this one here. Reverse gears going there. That's number input RPS. All right. And so I need to read my RPS. So again, that's the whole thing. I have it spawn up here that makes it easy for me to grab. Oh, spawn up here, it makes it easy for me to grab things. Why is that reading there? All right, uh, whatever. Uh, RPS right here. So I'm going to tell it I want a certain RPS. It's going to uh, read the RPS. I'm going to have to dial in the P value. So let's go ahead and put in number input P value. I generally just do the P value. It works fine for me. I, there are certainly, of course, situations where it would be beneficial to do I and D, but I really don't need to most of the time. P value is going to go in there. That I'm going to dial it in. Usually it's between like 0 0.12, 0 0.18. Could be 0.2, could be 2, somewhere like that. All right, so that is set up in there. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do starting off the helm. I usually don't like to do this, but I'm going to do it for now. Um, so one of the things I often do is I overcomplicate the startup procedure and before I have my testing done. And the issue with that is if you overcomplicate your startup procedure before your testing is done, you have to go through like a five-minute startup procedure every time you want to test something, and that's a pain in the butt. So... When we turn on one, that's going to start our PID, get our engine. We'll shut it off. We'll shut the engine off. Next is going to be starter. Um, did I, uh, I have a starter. So where is the starter? Here. Okay, so I deleted starter. I think that was the one I screwed up. All right, good. So I figured it out. So reverse gear input. So that's right here, starter. Okay, so that's going to be starter now. That's reverse gear. All right, so... Actually, this needs to be different here. Um, 
So this needs to be I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. So this up down counter here needs to go negative. So reset value of zero, minimum value of negative 20. So we can go 20 in reverse. So need to do that. I'll show you later why I'm doing that. Uh, but let's get the starter set up. So starters here. So I need an and. So when this is on and RPS is less than I usually do like three so an RPS is less than three and so when uh, when I turn on the system and the RPS is less than three it's going to trigger the starter that will do auto restart and all that so I like our auto restart just makes it easier three so that's one rps less than the idle and it's about uh, one rps above engine stasis where the engine's running so that will do that i'm not going to supercharge it yet i'll uh, you know what i'll do it now update that i did a modular engine tutorial uh, you can find it on the workshop so this is modular engine tutorial um supercharged so did a video on this, you can go see it. So if you grab all of this section here, to all of this section here, control C, and then I'll load, oh, I didn't save it. So the autosave saved me on that one. Did it? Oh, I just lost all that work. Gotta be kidding me, man. Must save, must save. I just lost so much work. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, hmm. All right, so let's do this instead. Why did that Why did that not autosave where I wanted it? Yeah, it's, I lost about 10 minutes of work on that. All right, so let's uh, make sure this gets saved here. All right, uh, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and end there. Um, next episode, we'll get right into the engine. All right, so I will see you guys there.